I'm Karen Gephardt here at HAI Heli Expo 2020 in Anaheim, California. I am honored to be here with Salute to Excellence winner Bryn Elliott, who won the uh, Excellence in Law Enforcement Award sponsored by MD Helicopters. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Karen. I really appreciate um, when somebody makes a major change in their career, a shift. Kind of an interesting story here. As I understand it, over 30 years, constable at the London Metro Police Department. Yeah. And then you shifted over from retirement into a, writing comprehensive articles about the use of helicopters in police aviation. Yeah. Now that's a change. Well, it is. Tell us about that. There's a bit of a transition there. The last five years, maybe a little bit more uh, of being a policeman, uh, I, I took a hobby which basically was writing about aviation. So I, I, I moved into it. It wasn't, uh, wasn't one day doing it and the next day not. So I was, I was already doing aviation. Um, and in fact, I used to fly, not, not, not paid flying, but flying with the Metro Aviation Unit in, in London, because um, I used to guard them with my six guns. So London, London policemen do okay. have guns occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I, I used to look after it, and then we'd, we'd, we'd put the gun in the filing cabinet and go fly. Okay. So that, that, was, that was my transition to uh, police aviation. I thought, this is good. Very good. <laughs> and the rest came on. Okay, so that's interesting how you shifted. But then, you, as I understand it, you are the sole organizer of the European Police Aviation Conferences. Yes. Yeah, now, that's another shift. Tell us a little bit about that conference and how you got into that. Yeah, well, about 2006, I, I'd already been writing my police aviation news for, for a couple of decades, or a decade by then. And they said, would I come and help them out with uh, running a conference, uh, or restarting a conference in London? Mm -hmm. I uh, turned up there and and for a couple of years, I, I, I just gave them speakers and subjects, and that was it. And then they, they turned me down and said they, they couldn't. They had a, a conference, but they didn't have a, a venue. So I said, oh, well, I'll do it myself. So I found another venue, and they forgot to ask me back. So uh, for, for now, a dozen years, we've been uh, running this conference out, out of my back bedroom, <laughs> basically. <laughs> it's obviously something that you have a passion oh, for and passion. you love doing. Yeah, it's great fun. And and obviously, uh, police aviation is very important to any major metropolitan area. So I'm sure there's a lot of appreciation with your background, being on the London metro side and yeah. then shifting over and understanding well, what you, they do. You need to know your subject. You yes. know the policemen do not like to read too much. So, <laughs> so. Uh, Every paragraph is a short paragraph, <laughs> and they might stay awake long enough to read it. Understood. And the same applies with with the conference. It, if you, you can't have too much people, too many people talking too much, in any any given subject, and they're going to be gone. They're going to be falling asleep. We don't. Yeah, we, we don't want that. We can't look after that. We don't want that. <laughs> no. We don't want that. So you know, we have a lot of folks in our uh, industry or coming into our industry, whether they are transitioning out of military into civilian workforce as pilots or maintenance technicians or engineers. We also have a lot of folks who are young and moving into our industry or they're wanting to make a change. You've made several major changes. Yeah. From a personal standpoint, what's it take to make that leap and, and how do you go about that? Well, first place is not to have a boss because if you have a boss, <laughs> bosses want you to do things that you don't necessarily want to do and you've probably spent 20 or 30 years doing that already. So you need to find a subject that nobody else wants to do. And when I'm gone, nobody else will want to do the police aviation conference. So there's, there's an opening there somewhere <laughs> in a few years time. But uh, yeah, that's the sort of thing. It's got to be something fairly unique um, that, you, that you know a subject of. There's no point if you don't know what you're talking mm -hmm. about. Sure. And then just move on from there. The one thing I always keep though is that I have these conferences, I do not speak at the conference. I say, welcome to everybody, and then I disappear off and let them talk to themselves. So having you talk right now is a rare circumstance. Uh, yes, very well, much Well, we so. appreciate you taking the time, Bryn, and, and talking with us. And I think there's going to be a number of folks who will probably want to follow up with you on all of the amazing transitions and things that you've been working on. And I'll bet there is somebody out there who would love to help you with that conference in the future. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you Thank so you. much, and again, congratulations. Thank you very much.